Good morning, Children Liturgy students. Welcome. It's the third Sunday of Lent. I hope you had a great March break. And here we are, March the 20th. Well, today's gospel is so amazing. And you have probably heard it before. Maybe, maybe not. You remember it. But we're talking about the God of second chances. So here in this picture, we have a man looking at this tree. And this tree doesn't look all that great, does it? doesn't look like it's bearing much fruit. And the master says, ah, this tree, I've had it for three years. Let's just cut it down. But the servant said, no, let's give it one more year, right? And if we give it one more year, right, it has no fruit. We give it more year. We give it food, like water and the sun, and maybe it will bear fruit. Well, let's think about that bearing fruit. What do you think Jesus means by that in his story? What if I just take this plant and put some fruit on it? Do you think that's what Jesus means? Of course not. This is a plant, but this plant, will this kind of plant ever have a, a fruit on it? No, this isn't a fruit tree. And first, a tree has to be a fruit tree before it can grow fruit. And for us Christians, for us to be a fruit tree, what do we have to be? We have to believe in Jesus. We have to believe in the truth that you and I exist and this beautiful world exists because Jesus loves us so much and he made you and me. And for us to bear fruit, we need to love God. We need to love others. And we need to ask Jesus to help us, right? To be the He's the sunshine and the water that we need to grow closer to him. And when we make a mistake, we turn away from God. But <clears throat> God gives us a second chance. God gives us a second chance. We just have to say we're sorry and truly try to do better next time. God knows we make mistakes. But what he wants us to do is do our best. Loving him. Loving him and listening to his rules so that we can be happy both here on earth and in heaven one day. So let's do the readings. First reading is from the book of Exodus. One day, while Moses was caring, taking care of the sheep that belonged to his father-in-law, Jethro, he led the sheep to a mountain of Horeb, God's holy mountain. While Moses was there, he saw a bush, bush burning, but it wasn't being burnt up. So Moses said to himself, I'm going to go closer to see if I can see this better. How can it be that this bush is burning, but isn't being burned up? God called from the bush, Moses, Moses. Moses said, here I am. Then God said, don't come any closer and take off your shoes for the place where you are standing is holy ground. I am the God of your people the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Moses put his hands over his eyes because he was afraid to look at God. Then God said, I have seen how much my people are suffering in Egypt. I have heard them cry for help, and I have come to free them and to bring them away from Egypt to a wonderful place, a land that is filled with milk and honey. Go now, I am sending you to bring my people away from Egypt. Then Moses asked God, when I tell the people that you sent me, they will ask me what your name is. What shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. Tell them that my name is I am and that I send you to them. This is my name and this is how I want to be remembered forever. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm 34. Glorify God, glorify God, glorify God with me. Glorify God. Glorify God, glorify God with me. Let us praise God's holy name. Glorify God, glorify God's holy name. Glorify God, glorify God, glorify God with me. The Gospel Acclamation. Change your life and believe. The good news of God is for you. Change your lives and believe. The Gospel according to Luke. One day, as Jesus was teaching, he said to the people, unless you change your lives and give up your sinful ways, you will not have eternal life. Then he told them this parable. 
There was a man who had a fig tree in his garden. When we went to pick some figs, there weren't any on the tree. And he said to the gardener, I have been waiting three years for figs to grow in this tree. I'll never find any. Cut it down. Why should I take up? Why should it take up space in my garden? But the gardener said, Master, leave it here for one more year. I will dig up the dirt around it and put manure in the ground to help it grow. Let's wait and see if figs grow on it next year. If they do, that's good. But if not, then we'll cut it down. This is the good news of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. So boys and girls, God, our God is a God of second chances. He gives us a second chance all the time. And so let us take that second chance and bear great fruit. God bless you. Have a great day.